I'm recording. Okay, well, do you remember that in our previous lesson we were talking about impersonal reported speech? Do you remember the drama, right? Or nope? Do you remember? Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, today. It was difficult. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit difficult. I prepared a material for you. And apart from that, we have a international test today. Okay? Focus on this. Uh, this is the material that I have for um, passive, okay? Do you remember passive and active voice? Yes? Do you remember this, right? Or no? Yes. Yeah, uh, super simple. Yes, kind of. uh, do you want to practice? Because I prepared this chart. Uh, you have example, make, uh, cake is made, and making is being made. We're gonna practice, okay? So let me open here the present. So let's go here. You are gonna tell me the answer, okay? For example, somebody sends emails. What is the answer? Emails. Emails. Yes. Uh uh. Emails. Are. Are. L E R. Are. Uh, send it. Are sent. Okay. Uh, are sent. Are sent. Do you uh, wanna Do you wanna uh, practice this? Do you wanna practice this a little bit? Okay. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, now, now you can see my wife, all right? Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, our topic for today is the passive voice. It's super simple, you know. Because uh, this is a normal sentence. For example, Carlos writes a letter. Carlos writes a letter. A normal sentence. This is active voice. Okay? My question is, is the sentence... Well, this, this sentence is focusing on what? On the... On the subject, right? On the subject. We have the subject, then what do we have here? This is the? The verb. The verb. The verb. And this is the? Yeah. The object. Okay. The object or complement, great. The object. My question is, the active voice focuses on? The it subject. Focuses on, sorry, focuses on the subject, okay? My question is, what is the subject? The subject yeah. is the animal, the person, or the thing that does uh, or does action. performs the action, of course. The verb is the action. And the object is the animal, the person, or the thing that re receive the, receive action. the action. Pretty good. So, active voice focuses on the subject. Well, the passive voice is the opposite because it focuses on the on the what? Object. On the object. Pretty good. So, we're going to write it focuses on the object. So now, we are going to start with the object, okay? So, step number one, change, change the order. What is that, Carlos? For example, you have here, Carlos writes a letter. Carlos writes a letter, so you are going to do this, pound, pound. What do you have to do first? You have to... Find the you have okay. to find yeah. the, the object. And how do we find the object? We need to ask the question what plus the verb. For example, the sentence is in present simple. So what does Carlos write? Right. What does Carlos write? A letter. So a letter is the object. So we write a letter. Okay? And here we change by Carlos, okay? So the first mm -hmm. step is to change the order, done. Number two, number two, we need to 
check check the tense check the tense what do you mean is the present is the past is the present perfect is the past perfect what tense is that guys carlos write a letter present simple present simple pretty good present simple nice next you need to add the verb be based based on that sentence okay verb be based on the tense so my question is what is the verb be that works with a letter in the present simple because we need to add be in the present simple is is pretty good next step number four you have to write write the ver the main verb in the pa in the past participle form so which one is the main verb right, right. the participle right. form is Written. Written. Uh, written. Written, mm -hmm. of course. So, what is the passive form? A letter is it's written, written by, Carlos. by Carlos. It's written with yes, written. Uh, written, written, written. No written. No. Written, no. The W, the W is not pronounced. It's like this. No, that the the. Written or written? Uh, of or course, rain. you can use the T-flap. You can say written, written, uh. or written, written, but that is British. That is British. American, you know, they say written, written, because this is the T-flap. You drop this one. Written. Yeah, mm -hmm. written, written. So a letter is written by Carlos. Okay. Yeah, did you understand that part? So now, uh, this is for you. This is for you. Carlos, Carlos, I'm sorry, uh, Carlos made a cake. Okay, what do we have to do first? Which one is the object? Cake. A cake. A cake. Okay. So we change the order. Super simple. A cake. And the last part? Carlos. Is. By Carlos. By Carlos. Now, the tense. What tense is that? The tense. A Carlos made a cake. Is. What tense is that? Uh, simple. Present simple. Present simple. Made a cake. Ah, pas simple. Pas simple, pretty ah, good. Pas. pas simple, the verb be. The verb be that works with a cake in the past? Was. Was, was. Then you have to write the main verb, the main verb. What is the participle form of mate? Mate. What is the answer here? A cake was made by Carlos. Did you understand? <laughs> Yeah, got it. you got it. Now focus on this part. Do you remember this? This uh, four steps, right? Change the order, check the tense, the verb, and write the main verb. You got it? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. clean this part. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Focus on this. In the present simple, this is your chuleta, okay? Present simple, you add the verb e plus the verb mm -hmm. in Participle. In participle. Now, in the past simple, is the verb be but in the past? In the simple. past, or maybe the frente. Was? Where? Where? Plus a member in participle again. So we can change here uh, the verb be. Am, is, are. Okay? But now focus on this. Carlos is writing a letter. Carlos is writing a letter. So follow the same step. Which one is the object? A letter. A letter. A letter. This is the agent. So change the order. A letter. A letter. Next, okay, here we have to write by Carlos. By Carlos. Now. It's real. Now. The sentence, the sentence is present simple. Mm -mm. Is past simple? Mm -mm. No. This is pro. Present Progr continuous. A present progressive or continuous. Remember, when you work with the present progressive or the past progressive, you have to do this. You check present, yes. 
you have to add the word being, being, and then the participle for written, written, okay, or written. Did you understand? In progressive <laughs> form, we have to add being, because if you translate it into Spanish, it doesn't make sense. Si tú me dices, Carlos está escribiendo una carta, una carta está siendo escrita por Carlos. Did you understand? Yes. Yeah, pretty okay. good. Being. So, this is for you. Mary, Mary was making a cake. Can you tell me the answer? A cake was... A cake was... Being, making. Being, being, making? Being, being made. Made by... By Mary. Mary or by Mary. Mm -hmm. So Mary. this is your the second part here. We have present progressive. The present progressive, of course, and the past progressive, okay? Um, pre, 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 do, 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 do. pre progressive. And then we have past progressive. So what is what goes here is the verb. The verb be am, is, are, plus being plus pp you get it nice here was was we're plus being plus pp super simple but now focus on this one they they have stolen the bank they have stolen the bank what? Let's go here. What do we have to do first? What is the object? The bank. <laughs> they change the order. The bank. Buy them. Buy them. Now, what tense is that? This is the present. The present. Perfect. So what you have to do this is the present perfect, the form of have. The bank have or has? Has. has? The bank has been stolen no. by them. So when you have here focus, the present perfect, you have to check the form of have or has. You say have, has, plus, been, plus, pp. Did you understand? Yes. yes. This is for you. Uh, this is for you, okay? Okay, Mary and Carlos, okay, have, have clean the houses. What is the answer? The houses have been have cleaned, been cleaned clean. by Mary, Mary and Carlos. Carlos. Pretty good. Did you understand this part, right? Yep. Next. What about this sentence, you know? Yesterday, I took my exam, but my teacher, but my teacher, he hadn't checked my exam. What tense is that, guys? Exam. Past perfect. My exam. Mm. By him or by my teacher. Hadn't been. Hadn't been pretty good. Okay. Hadn't been checked by by the my teacher. Him. So when you have the past perfect, what is the structure? Had plus been plus. B, B. Now, do you understand how the grammar works, right? Yes. So I have an image for you. You can take a screenshot and you can practice. Focus on this part. I prepared this image for you. Can you see it? Yes. Uh, yes. A trick for you. Un truquito basado en mi experiencia. Las formas, Carlos, yo no me voy a estar aprendiendo todo eso, you know, I don't have time, I don't feel like studying a lot. Do you speak Spanish or not? Yes. 
If you speak Spanish well, you can do this because the grammar is the same. Si hablas el español de manera adecuada, no es necesario que te aprendas nada. Ok, a ver, vamos a chequear qué tal están de español. Let's go here. A ver, tenemos una pantalla para que ustedes puedan escribir. Yep. Can you see the new whiteboard, right? Se, pu se puede ver. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. También pueden escribir, ¿ok? Empecemos. Miren aquí. Mm -hmm. María va a comprar un carro. María va a comprar un carro. ¿Cuál sería el pasivo de esta oración en español? Un carro va a comprar. Un no. Un carro, un carro va a comprar. No. Mira, María va a comprar ah. un carro. Comprará. Es comprado. Va a ser comprado. No, María. Va, muy bien. Va a ser comprado por María. Miren, vamos a chequear su español. Un carro va a ser comprado por María. Siguiente oración. Eh, Carlos eh, debería, debería haber revisado la casa. ¿Cuál sería la forma pasiva en el idioma español? La casa debió haber sido revisado por Carlos. La casa, a ver, a ver, ¿qué opinan? La casa, la casa... Debió haber sido revisado por Carlos. Debería haber sido, sido revisada revisado. por Carlos. Entonces, ¿te das cuenta que es sencillo? Es como pasar de español a inglés. Una más, que es un poquito difícil. A ver, yo, yo... I'm sorry. Yo debo hacer las tareas. ¿Cómo sería yo debo hacer las tareas? Las tareas. Las tareas. A ver, mira, yo debo hacer las tareas. Las tareas. Yo debo... Las tareas debo... No, yo no. debo hacer las tareas. Las tareas... Deben ser... No. Deben ser... Deben ser... Por mí. Hechas, hechas por mí. Hechas por mí. Entonces, si tú puedes hacer esta conjugación ¿no? en el idioma español, no es necesario que te aprendas nada. ¿Qué ves? Solamente en español, ¿no? Mary va a comprar un carro, un carro va a ser comprado por María. So, a car is going to be bought by Mary. You got it? ¿Se entiende o no se entiende? Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero si no, si, si no puedes hacer esta conjugación en español, porque es un poco difícil a veces, tienes que practicar con la, con la imagen que te he brindado. ¿Ok? No te preocupes, aquí está. Con la práctica te vas a olvidar, ¿no? Recuerda tu caso. Todos los que son con modales siempre van con B. Los que son futuros van con B. Super simple. Los que son en progresivo, ¿qué le agrego? Bien. Bien. Si es pasado perfecto, had. Si es presente perfecto, have or has. Dependiendo del subject. Did you understand? Yes. A ver, vamos a practicar un poquito su pronunciación. We're going to practice together. And... Yes. Okay, now I'll share the screen. So please, uh, of course, number one, em emails are sent. But now I want to teach you something. Carlos. When do we use the passive voice? When do we use the passive voice? Guys, you can you can use the passive voice when you want to when you want to omit the subject. Mm -hmm. When you want to omit the subject, when you don't want to mention the subject. Okay? You um, for example, The bank, the bank was stolen, but are you gonna write by the robbers or is that obvious? Mm, obvious. Obvious. It's not necessary. It's not necessary for you to mention by the robbers or maybe this one. The robbers were caught by the police. Ah. Uh, The robbers were caught by the police. What do you think? Who usually catches the robbers? 
the apple. Police. The apple is so it's obvious. So when uh, when the the agent or the subject, you know, because in the past we change the name, just the agent. It's obvious. It's not necessary to mention, but if you want, no problem. Okay, no problem. Another one. You can use the the passive when you don't want to say who performed the action. For example, you know, I have my bro my my brother, and my brother stole a bank and somebody hey what happened why is your mom crying uh because a bank was stolen but you are not mentioned that the guilty is your brother you see my point here yes or something bad happened to my mom yes you don't want to mention okay that that would be all let's continue here so now denise somebody cuts the grass the the grass is cut by somebody or by 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 yeah by somebody or you can omit it por alguien it's not necessary next Jimmy somebody prefers chocolate mm, chocolate um is um preferred preferred of by, course by somebody by somebody remember repeat after me Jimmy chuck chuck, chuck. Let chocolate great chocolate two syllables chocolate chocolate, chocolate. great uh then is you number four uh, cars uh, are often still mm -mm, incorrect Car stolen often stolen, stolen. <laughs> yes that's it that's it uh, you jimmy somebody plays mm -hmm. loud music Mm. Loud music um, is, played is played by somebody. By somebody, great. Then is you the next one, your pronunciation. Um, English is spoken, spoken by somebody. By somebody. Next one, Jimmy, you. The London Parks um, is loved mm -mm. by somebody. The London parks, parks. Ah, the London parks are loved. Are loved. Right yes, loved. Next, you, Denise. Staff um, is wanted by somebody. Is wanted by somebody. Next, uh, Jimmy, somebody writes articles. Articles are uh, written. At reading. Uh, okay, focus on this part, Jimmy. Focus on this part. In the English language, when we have an R and a T and then a vowel sound, you often omit the T sound. For example, Jimmy, look at the word party. Party. You have RT vowel sound, right? Mm -hmm. You don't pronounce the T, you say? Party. Party. Look at this one. Articulate. You say? Articulate. No, we have RT vowel sound. What uh, do you do? Articulate. Articulate. Then you have article. You say? Article. Article. Yeah, this is what you have to do. Number. This number. Oh, Jesus. 30. Um, 30? No. 30. 30. 30, 30, yeah, good, good. Next, Denise, you, number 10. Please loved by somebody. Loved, pretty good. So you can see the answers right now here. Email, arsen, the grass is cut, etc., etc. Great. One second here. Next. Uh, you know the past, the past simple, super, just two or three examples because we have to continue. Okay, Denise, somebody found the key. The key was found. Yes, that's it. The key was found. <laughs> Jimmy, somebody made mistakes. Uh, mistakes are mm -mm. made. Mm -mm. No. Somebody uh, made. Uh, no, S somebody was, uh, was was made by somebody mm -mm, but mistakes ah mistakes were uh, 
were made by somebody. Amazing. Uh, the news number three. Somebody that loved the woman. woman. Was loved. Um, great. Jimmy number four. Uh, the rooms um, were were cleaned by somebody. Cleaned, cleaned, just clean. Clean. Denise, number Please. five. The computer was fixed. Fixed, great. Jimmy, number seven. Um, the house is um, mm -mm. box. No. The built. house. That house. That house um, built is past or is present. Uh, this is the past. The past. The past. Ah, okay. Belt. Was. Was, was belt. Built. Was belt. Yes. The name uh -huh. is number seven. Uh, war and peace. Uh, war mm -mm. written. Mm -mm. War and peace. This is the title. Uh, yeah, it's just yeah, one. Was, was reading. Oh, maybe. Okay. If you say word, word reading. Word or was reading. Maybe this is one book. This is another book. Or mm. this is just one book. We need context. Okay. Yes, maybe you're right. Uh, next, you, uh, Jimmy, somebody painted the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa was painted by somebody. Yes, next. Uh, focus on this, Jimmy. My wallet was your, stolen. Your wallet was stolen. Great. Jimmy, focus on this. When you have the number 20, sorry, 20, you have NT and Y, right? NT vowel sound. Can you see it? 20. Mm -hmm. 20. You omit. Okay, for example, you have the word identity, you say? Uh, identity. Identity, of course. Identity. Or what about this one, internet? Internet. Internet, <laughs> yeah, you say internet. Yeah, okay. you got it? Uh -huh. Internet. Every time that you see these words, try using... Uh, uh, this ways of pronouncing, okay? Yep. Next, okay, we're, we're, we're done here. Uh, now, present perfect. You're doing super quickly, nice. Okay, Denise, you, somebody has watered the plants. Uh, the plants uh, have watered. Mm -mm. Have been watered. Yeah, good. Jimmy, you, somebody has taken the money. Mm, the money uh, has been taken. Yes, taken. By taken, somebody. Taken, taken, yeah. Taken, yes. taken by somebody. Uh, then is your number three. The presents have bought. Mm -mm. Have been bought. Yep. Jimmy, number next one. Finish report. And the report has been finished yeah. by then somebody. He, yes, by somebody. Then is you, next one. The president has been killed. Has been killed. Jimmy, next one. The road has been repaired by somebody. By somebody. In this case, we don't know who performed the action because we say by somebody, so it's not necessary to mention it. Yeah, you can say just uh, the road has been repaired. Who repaired? We don't know. It's not necessary to mention. Okay. Okay. But if we have Carlos has killed the president, uh, the president has been killed by Carlos because you want to mention who performed the action in the past, okay? Mm, Next. Okay. So, uh, any questions about the passive? No, right? It's super simple. Yep. Yes. 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 Yeah, so we just need to practice here uh, these rules. Okay. Next. Then we were talking about the passive. Then the next topic was impersonal. Do you remember impersonal passive or not? It is believe. It, it is believe or the other one. Do you remember? Uh, no. When you uh, put the, the object for first. Exam yeah, for example, it is believe that Carlos is great. The other way to say that? Carlos okay. is believed to be great. Carlos is believed to be great. Now, what about this sentence? It is thought that Carlos was great. Mm, it was believed. It was thought. It Carlos. 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 
Carlos was thought. Mm -mm. Is Carlos is, is thought. Is thought. To. To. Be. Mm -mm. But it's in the past. To was great. Mm -mm. Remember. You have to do the back shift. Tienes que hacer el back shift. ¿Estaba en presente? ¿Cuál es el pasado del presente? Lo dejas así, normalito. Si está en pasado, ¿cuál va? ¿El? Uh, have, 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 have been. Have been have great. Been. Yes. Les he preparado un chart. Un chart. Denme un segundo. Voy a abrir mi chart. One second. Para que ustedes puedan encontrar ahí los... A ver, acá está, acá está, acá está. Ya lo tengo. No sé si lo pueden observar. Se ve este chart. Está completo con todos los tiempos. Sí, se los voy a enviar también por si acaso. Aquí les he hecho el resumen de las clases anteriores con el personal passive. ¿Vale? Voy a hacerlo un poquito más grande y vamos a analizar un poco. ¿Ok? Let's analyze. For example, people say he is English. It is said that he is English. He is said to be English. We, don't, we understand she doesn't like football. It is understood. She doesn't like. People think he's waiting. He is waiting. He thought to be waiting. Do you remember this part? ¿Se acuerdan que lo vimos la clase anterior? No? Yes. So, super sencillo. Si tengo, por ejemplo, ¿sabe? ya dominan esto, ¿cierto? El de aquí, el impersonal passive. Para pasarlo al, al personal passive. Truco. Si está en presente, ¿qué voy a poner? El infinitivo y el verbo normal. Claro. ¿Ya? Yeah. Presente. Yeah. Tú y el be. Si está en continuo, el tú y el be más el ing. Si está en futuro, el verbo se pone de frente. ¿Ok? Ahora aquí, mira. It is said that many smartphones are stolen. Are said to be. Pero con el participio. Me pregunto si tienen algunas dudas sobre este temita para volver a explicarlo como el pasivo o si ya quedó claro para ir a los ejercicios. Mm, repeat this. Ok, vamos a hacer así como el passive. ¿Está de acuerdo? Perfecto. Ok. The impersonal passive, we use the impersonal passive when we want to generalize an idea. Ok, Jimmy. For example, a lot of people think... Peru is the best country. A lot of people think that, right? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Muchas personas creen. Tenemos dos yeah. formas de expresar esta idea. La primera es et. Ahora le voy a agregar el verbo to be. ¿Te acuerdas el pasivo? ¿En qué tiempo está mi clave? A ver, vamos a separar aquí. A lot of people think that. Y la segunda idea es esto, ¿ok? Idea number one. Idea one. Idea to. Aquí, mi verbo to be va a estar en el tense de la idea one. ¿Quedó claro? Yes. Le agregó el pp, el participio de la idea one. Y luego, that, copio, paste, idea to. ¿Cómo es eso? Por ejemplo, it, verbo to be. De la idea one, ¿qué iría? ¿En qué tiempo está mi idea one? Do you know, guys? Mm, present. Present, como el pasivo. So, ¿cómo sería? It. It is. It is. Ahora, mi participio. ¿Qué verbo sería? The thing, como en los pasivos que vimos anterior. It is the thing. Thought. It is thought. Thought. Luego que dice que le agrego el that. ¿Y qué más? Copio todo. Pero is the best. Country. ¿Hasta aquí quedó claro? A ver ustedes. Yes. Many people, many people, many people believed that, uh, I don't know, you are the best. Creyó, mira, many people. ¿Qué hago primero? Pongo el it. Luego, ¿qué dice que haga? It. El verbo to be basado en mi tense de la idea 1. Peep, many people believed. ¿En qué tiempo está many people believed? Past was. In the past. It was. Luego que sigue. Me believed. believed. Y luego que hago. Believed. That. Y luego que sigue. Copio todo. Left. You are, you are the best. best. Excelente. Igualito haríamos con el 
presente perfecto, el pasado perfecto. E igualito que hemos visto en los pasivos. Es lo mismo, por eso es la, la clase 12. ¿Hasta aquí se entendió esto? Yes, it's clear. It's clear, crystal clear. Ahora, mira acá. ¿Cómo es la siguiente? La personal. Mira aquí. Vamos a coger el objeto. En este caso viene a ser de la idea 2. Voy a poner aquí pound. Perú. Perú. Le voy a poner el verb be igualito de mi tense one. ¿Ok? Basado en mi tense one más el participle de mi tense one. Plus. Ahora aquí viene lo tricky. Si está en presente, pongo el infinitivo más el verb. For example, Perú. ¿Cuál es mi verb tense one? Perú. Is, am, are. No es que esté en presente. Sería Perú. Perú. Is. Perú is. Ahora el pipi. Thought. Lo que sigue. El infinitivo. Tú. Tú. To, to, be. to be the best country. What about here? Many people believe that you are the best. You. You are. You, but this is many people believed. Uh, Muchas personas you, creyeron. You. You was. You were. Uh, you were. You were. You were You were believed. You were believed. Ahora me fijo. Mi idea 2 en que está en presente, en pasado, futuro. Present. Presente. To present. be. To be to the be. best. To be the best. Para que no la hagas muy difícil. La primera parte está basada en qué cosa? En la idea número 1. Verbo y de acá. La segunda ya tiene que variar. Ahora presta atención acá. Mira. Many people agreed. Agreed. Acordaron. Agreed. That. COVID was invented. De que el COVID fue inventado. Ahora cambia. ¿Cómo sería? It. COVID. A ver, primero empezamos con la, la cosa de la it. It. It was. It was. It was. Because many people agreed. It was. Agreed. Agreed, 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 agreed that COVID. That COVID was invented. That COVID was invented. Next. ¿Qué iría primero ahora? COVID, COVID, COVID qué, mi, mi oración es esta, was, esto que está en pasado, presente, futuro, en pasado, was, 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 was agreed. agreed, was agreed, ahora viene el infinitivo, was agreed to, focus on this, esto en qué tiempo uh, está, been. have been, perfecto, uh, have, been. have been invented, invented, did you understand? Yes. Yeah, you get it or not. Ahorita vamos a ver más ejercicios, ¿ok? Guys, me parece que dice reminding time. Me sale que se, voy a, se va a cerrar la reunión. Les voy a enviar de nuevo el link, ¿ok? Ok. Y les voy a enviar el archivo también para que ya lo tengan. A ver cómo hago para cerrar esto. A ver, vamos a practicar. Let's go here. In the same way. Tenemos aquí los impersonal, impersonal, impersonal passive exercises. Okay. They say that fish is good for the brain. ¿Cuál es la siguiente fórmula? They say that good is good for the brain. The brain. Mm -mm. Y... Primero con el ed. Primero con el ed. Uh -huh. sí. uh, it is. It is said. Yeah. It is porque está en it presente. A ver, lo primero, lo que yo les recomiendo, separa tus oraciones en partes, ¿no? Por ejemplo, they say, eso es uno. Y la segunda, fish is good. People think es uno. They claim es otro. People believe es otro. Expert have proved that es otro. Y lo demás es otra oración. ¿Quedó claro? Ahora aquí me fijo. Ed. Mi, mi oración uno. ¿En qué está? En presente. ¿Cómo sería? It is. 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 It
It is. It is. It is set. It, it is set. set. It is set. Copy that. That fish? that fish is good for the brain. Fish is good fish. for the brain. Amazing. It is said that. How oh, difficult. A ver. What is the answer? It is said that. Empezamos con qué empezamos? Fish. 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 Copy lo de arriba. Mi idea uno. Fish is. Is. Set. Is set. That. Is set. Uh, that. To be. Tú, ahora, mi cláusula dos en que está en presente, pasado, futuro. Uh, present. Present simple. ¿Qué pasa cuando está en present simple? Infinitivo. Tú. Uh, infinitivo. To be. To be good to for. Be. For the brain. brain. For the brain. A ver, number two. A ver, el número dos. People think that we, that we use a small percentage of our brain power. It is thought. It is, it, is, it, is thought, it is thought. It is thought. It is thought that, that we use a small percentage of our brain power. Okay, repeat after me. Percentage. 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 Yeah, like it's like orange. For example, orange. Orange. Or, yes. Orange. Page. 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 Challenge. Orange. Challenge. Yes. So as you can see here, we have the sound, ch, ch, right? But when mm -hmm. we have the plural, how do we say it in this? Orange. Mm -mm. Oranges, oranges, oranges. You get it? Mm -hmm. The page, mm -hmm. the page? Pages. Pages, pages, the challenge? Challenges. Challenges. Un error común es decir que es orange, no? Oranges. Oranges, ok? Ahora, trucazo. Todas las palabras que terminen en estos sonidos va a ser EZ, la pronunciación al final. Entonces no va a ser oranges, sino oranges al final, ok? Ok. So, ¿cómo sería aquí? ¿Porcentaje? Percentage. Percentage. ¿Y porcentajes? Percentages. Percentages. <laughs> Percentage is great. So, it is thought that we use a small percentage of, of the, our brain power. brain power. Yeah, guys, another another tip. If you have the possibility to omit some sound because in fast speech, we omit sound, please, you say of, like, a, uh, you don't pronounce the of, you say a, uh, and oh. our, we say, like, the R in the alphabet. R, R. You got it? Ah, or. For example. Or. Ah, uh, no, no, R, nada más como la R en inglés. R. Or. Or. A ver, lo voy a leer, mira. Or. It, it is thought that we use a small percentage of our brain power. Or. Or brain power. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Or. Our. No, yeah. puedes pronunciar our. O la R del alfabeto, R. Nada más. Mm -hmm. So, what is the, the second version? Do you know? Mm. Ah, okay. Um, uh, the fish. Okay. Uh, the fish? No, 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 the fish. <laughs> Sorry. It's more we use the small person. Ah. Uh, we? 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 We are. We are because mi oración no está en presente. We are. We are thought. We are thought. ¿Qué más? We are thought to. To. Mi segunda oración en que está en presente, pasado, futuro. Present. 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 ¿Y qué pasa? Lo pongo el infinitivo. To use. Ah, a small. Okay. To use a small percent. A small percentage. Percentage. Of our. Brain brain, power. Brain. Ahora, Carlos, se me acabo de acordar un uso. Carlos, ¿cuándo usamos esto sin personal? Por ejemplo, cuando hacen entrevistas de trabajo, te dicen, please, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself, right? Te preguntan, hábleme acerca de ti. O cuando hables con tus amigos, ¿no? Entonces, para no sonar muy, muy botado, por ejemplo, yo soy bueno cantando, mira, yo te digo. I am good at 
Singing. Sí. Yeah. Sí. Denise, do you remember otra forma de decir que eres bueno en algo? I am good at singing. Are you really into? No, I'm really into. I really like it. Mm. I have a. What mm. is that? A good. A good head for. For singing. Okay? Tienes una buena cabeza para algo. You got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, entonces, tú no vas a, vas a sonar como que muy, muy botado. Oye, es que yo soy bueno cantando, ¿no? Entonces, puedes decir, ¿no? Well, I am thought to sing very well. Suenas un poco más, más humilde. ¿Me dejo entender? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, sí. ah, es que yo, descu yo, yo soy el mejor cantando. Yo soy el mejor haciendo esto. <risa> en lugar de decir, I am the best doing this, you can say, well... It is thought that I can do this well. Or you can say, well, I am thought to do this well. O sea, piensa que yo lo hago bien. No soy humilde. Utilizo el impression. Okay? Did you understand the part? Got it. You got it. If you want to sound like a little bit humble, <laughs> you know? But if you don't want to, you can do this. Of course, you can say, I am the best. Next. <laughs> well, it's up to you. It's up to you. Okay, next one. They claim that we remember. It's super simple. They believe that solving puzzle keeps is the same, right? A ver, the last one. Take a look at the last one. Experts have proved that exercise is good for concentration. What do you think? It has proved. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me write, let me write before I forget. It has proved. ¿Te acuerdas del pasivo? Expert have proven. Mm -hmm. A ver, vamos a anotar tu respuesta. It has proved, proven. Proven. Okay. A ver, Denise, ¿cuál es tu respuesta? It has proven. That exercise is good for concentration. That exercise is good for concentration. Uh, Jimmy, what is your answer? Para ti, ¿cuál sería? It has been. A ver, it has been proven or proved. Proved. Proved that exercise is nice. good for concentration. Yeah. Esa es la primera. La segunda. ¿Cómo sería el otro? El más tranca. ¿Mm? Denise, mm. you. Mm, exercise. Exercise. Mm, has been proved. Has been proved. To be good for concentration. To be good for concentration. What about you, Jimmy? What do you think? Exercise has been proof to to be good uh -huh, for concentration. Okay. Yes. Let's check. Let's check the answer. The last one. It has been proof that exercise is good for concentration. Exercises have Bien, pero ah. because es in plural, of course. You told me exercise. Ah. exercise. Plural. <laughs> yeah, exercises. Exercises. But, ah. but don't worry, because I wrote exercise here and then I changed it. <laughs> it was my fault. <laughs> no worries. No. Another way to say no, no worries. No. No BG's. No BG. No BG. No problem. Everything is okay. Yep. So now. You can see the chart here, como pueden ver el chart. Les he puesto con el presente perfecto también. Pay attention here. Present perfect. You thought that he has left. Mira, cuando está en presente perfecto, se pone en presente perfecto. Si está en pasado, se pone en presente perfecto. Si está en pasado perfecto, se pone en have been. ¿Ok? Have been, have been. Any questions? Or nope. Any questions? Mira, it is said that he had killed her early that morning. He is said to have killed. Present perfect. Siguiente, it is said that he had been planning. It is said to have been planning. Super simple. Did you understand? Uh, what is the difference, sorry, between had and have in this context? In that context, uh, because we don't use here, uh, often we don't use the had, the past perfect, when we use uh, this rule, the personal passive, because always we use a perfect infinitive. Nunca vamos a usar el had. 
Mm. Si, así está en pasado perfecto, vas a usar el presente perfecto, el have. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yes. Ok, entonces tenemos 7 minutos. Quisieran intentar pasar este 8 ejercicios de un examen internacional. A ver, déjenme ver, voy a compartir mi pantalla. A ver, estos 8 ejercicios son desarrollados en exactamente 10 minutos. A ver, aquí está, son 8 ejercicios. Vamos a ver qué tal les va. ¿Pueden observar mi pantalla? Yes. Ok, dice así. In these exercises, you need to take information in the first sentence. Tienes que parafrasear. Tienes que incluir esta palabra y no pueden exceder seis palabras. No pueden ser más de seis. Máximo tres y seis. A ver, aquí ustedes. It is said that these herbs are good for you. What is your answer? These herbs are herbs are are said are that these herbs to be are good to be good to be to good be for you. you. To be good, pero ya, yeah, ahí está. No está el, el you. To be good for you. Si quieres lo ponemos. To be good for you. Next. It is said that children are afraid of ghosts. Children. Children are said. Are said. To be, to be afraid. Are said to. To be afraid. To be afraid of God. A ghost. Nice. They say that women live longer than men. It is that. It is that. Uh, it is that. That women. That women. Live longer than men. Longer than men. Than men. This one, number four. They think she has written a book. She is thought. She is thought. To. To. To have. To have, have been, been have, written. To have? Been. Been or to have written? Been written. What do you think, Jimmy? Mm. Yes, I agree. I have been. You agree? A ver, chequemos la tablita. Present perfect. Present perfect. Está present perfect. Present perfect. A ver aquí, ¿qué dice? Focus on this. Uh, present perfect. To have left. People think he has left for good. It is thought that he has left for good. He thought to have left for good. You get it? Ok. Entonces, ¿qué sería aquí? We have been. Sin el been. Sin el been. Siguiente. People believe he is working in Germany. What do you think? He is believed to be to be to work to work to work or to be working to be no to be to be to be to be let's check him la tablita to be presente continuo mira he thought that he is waiting for us he thought to be waiting for us to be okay to Truco, acá también te sirve tu español como en el pasivo, mira. Tú pones aquí, mira, ellos piensan de que ella ha escrito el libro. Se cree o se piensa que ella ha escrito el libro. Se piensa que ella, traduce así, se piensa que ella ha escrito el libro. ¿En qué momento dice ha sido escrito el libro? No tiene sentido. A ver aquí, piensen, mira. Las personas creen que él está trabajando en Alemania. Se cree que él... ¿Trabaja en Alemania o está trabajando en Alemania? Working. Working in Germany. A ver aquí. People believe that John Lennon was a great musician. ¿Se, cree que, mm -hmm. ¿se creía que John Lennon? John Lennon is believed. A ver, a ver, a ver. Wait a second. Yeah, John Lennon is believed. Ahora, el believed. Ahora analicen, mira. Las personas creen que John Lennon no, no. fue un gran música, un músico. Ah, to have been. To have, to been. have been. Haber sido un gran músico. ¿Están captando la idea? Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Uh -huh. What about number seven? It is thought that the government was building new schools. The government is, is thought to. Thought to. Mira. To have been. 
to have been what else building building ya le que estás el truco de nis cómo vas tú también le que estás el truquito ya Denise 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 your microphone is ah maybe here mic Denise are, are you there it's far away <laughs> well ah, okay let's go on let's go on no problem next you Jimmy it was believed that he had live in London he is Mm. He is believed to. But it was believed. Ah, yes. No. Ah, nice. He realized he was believed. To, to have been. Had been. To had to had been? Uh, to to had, have been. Look at the past uh, perfect. Have. Let's go our chart. Had, past perfect. Past perfect here. Yeah, present perfect. Ahí está, present perfect. Super simple. Nunca vamos a usar el pasado, el pasado perfecto, ¿ok? Let's go here. To have. Have been. Ah, have lived. Yeah, ok. Wait a second here. How do you say vivir in English? Lives. Live. And how do you say irse? Lives. <laughs> ok, focus on this. Live. Vivir, eso sí, mira. Live. 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 You say leave, leave. leave. Ah. For example, I live in Lima. Live in Lima. Okay, live, live. Okay. But now, el sonido es muy parecido al pasado, pero es sin la t. Left. El otro es left. Left. Ah. left, left. Ahora, vida en inglés se dice life. Life. En plural. Life. En plural. Lives. 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 Ahora, vivir se dice live. Yes. Left, left, uh, yeah. left. Pero qué pasa si trabaja con el presente perfecto? <laughs> he, he left. He lives. Ahora quiero que me digan, él vive vidas. Más. <laughs> he, he left life. He lives lives. Okay. Entonces tienen sonido de a cuando es noun y tienen sonido de e cuando es verbo. Okay. Yes. Aquí left. Left. He was believed to have left. A ver, chicos, las respuestas. Are said to be great. Are said to be great. Uh, yes, left. To have written. Muy bien. To be working great. Is believed to have been. Nice. To have been building great. To have left. ¿Qué tal les pareció estas ocho preguntas de examen internacional? Sencillas, mm -hmm. difíciles. Interesting. Interesting, right? Interesting. Do you have any questions? Because... The class is yeah. over.